The first dynamic array formula that we're going to look at is definitely one of the most useful and one I find myself using all the time in lots of different situations. And that is the unique function. Now, what unique allows us to do is produce a unique list of values. So let's take a look at an example so that you can understand a little bit better. Now, in column B, I just simply have a list of different country names. Now, these countries have repeats in them. They have duplicates. So you can see here we have UK repeated a few times. We have USA a couple of times, Germany, so on and so forth. So this wouldn't be described as a unique list because of those duplicates. Now, before we had dynamic array functions, if I wanted to just have a list of all of the unique entries here and remove the duplicates, I would use the remove duplicates tool on the data ribbon. So if we go up to data, we have a remove duplicates button. Now, if I click this, it's going to say, do you want me to remove the duplicates from the country column, which I do. Click on OK. It's found eight duplicates and nine remain. So when I click on OK, I now have a unique list of all of those countries. So that is how historically we've always dealt with that scenario. Now, the problem with this is that it does actually remove the duplicates from the list. You might want to keep them in there. And also because it is a command we click on on the ribbon, it means we can't really combine it with other formulas to make it more useful. So that is where unique comes into its own. So I've just undone this to put all of our countries back because what I can now do instead is type in equals unique and then we simply have one mandatory argument which is array. The other two arguments which we are going to explore in the next lesson are optional because they're in square brackets. So all we need to do here is select the array close the bracket, hit enter, and it's going to produce a unique list. Again, because this is a dynamic array function, if I'm clicked in a cell down here, the formula is grayed out in the formula bar. If I wanted to edit this, I could simply click up here. So really nice and simple. Now, what about if I wanted to count these entries? Well, they're text, so we would need to use count A, but what I could do is say count A, and instead of selecting the entire range with dynamic array formulas, you can select the first one, press the hash or the pound symbol, and it will literally select everything else in that range. Close the bracket, hit enter, and it tells us that we have nine unique entries. Now, of course, if this list didn't exist at all, so let's just delete this out, and I wanted to do a unique count, I could combine both of those formulas together. We can simply type count A, then go into unique, select our array, close off unique, close off count A, hit enter, and it's going to give us the result. And we've combined a regular formula with a dynamic array formula. Now, of course, there is so much more that you can do with unique by utilizing those two optional arguments. We're going to take a look at that in a moment. And of course, we can combine it with other formulas like we've done just here. And it really becomes powerful when you start using it in things like data validation drop down lists. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.